New York Attorney General Letitia James just filed a civil fraud lawsuit against Donald Trump and his children that surely has Diaper Dawn filling his. Marjorie Taylor Greene is mocking electric planes while her partner in slime, Lauren Boebert, breaks out the chopsticks to prove she's never read the holy book she claims to base her life on. We laugh, but they're talking about a green agenda. They get mad at me because I say, I don't want any more trees. I don't, I want police officers. They're laughing. Because I said trees. No, I don't want trees. I want police officers. Trees produce oxygen. And last time I checked, George Floyd was saying I can't breathe because a police officer was on his neck. So by Herschel's math, we're going to all be gasping for air. It is pouring MAGA tears. Get out your umbrellas and fill your cups because Donald Trump, Don Jr., Eric, and Ivanka could be out of business and in jail thanks to a new civil suit by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Marjorie Taylor Greene puts her technophobe idiocy on display while Lauren Boebert exposes the secret Chinese menu items in the Bible. By popular demand, I have another hilarious, genuine page from Lauren Boebert's book, plus the latest and stupid and more. The sharp-chinned Colorado Wildcat tweeted, The left loves to knock my GED, but think it's normal to pay $200,000 to go to Harvard so Brian Stelter can lecture you on democracy. Naturally, I replied, Whoa, Lauren, simmer down the university slamming, or you're going to upset the Canadian Harvard grad side hustle sugar daddy that took you from Craigslist to Congress. Also, typos. Following a comprehensive three-year investigation by my office, including witnesses, interviews with more than 65 witnesses, and review of millions of documents that were submitted by Mr. Trump and others, we are filing a lawsuit against Donald Trump for violating the law as part of his efforts to generate profits for himself, his family, and his company. The complaint demonstrates that Donald Trump falsely inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to unjustly enrich himself and to cheat the system, thereby cheating all of us. Remember when Hillary Clinton said Donald Trump isn't as rich as he says he is and Trump refused to release his taxes? He did this with the help of the other defendants, his children, Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump, and Eric Trump. And for the first time in her life, it's good to be Tiffany. Mr. Trump and the Trump Organization repeatedly and persistently manipulated the value of assets to induce banks to lend money to the Trump Organization on more favorable terms than would otherwise have been available to the company. Wait, is she talking about the fake university, fake bone spurs guy? This is, this is impossible. Uh, wh what about Hillary's emails? Come on. To pay lower taxes, to satisfy continuing loan agreements, and to induce insurance companies to provide insurance coverage for higher limits and at lower premiums. Overall, the lawsuit said that 11 of Mr. Trump's annual financial statements included more than 200 false and misleading asset valuations. His conduct was all in violation of Executive Law Section 6312, which gives the Attorney General broad and special powers to go after persistent and repeated fraud and illegality. Remember, Trump only loves the poorly educated because they are more likely to fall for his lies. Burn your books, watch Fox News, stay in your bubble. We show that they violated several state criminal laws, including falsifying business records, issuing false financial statements, insurance fraud. These are career criminals. You will go to jail for a minor crime while these white-collar con artists with made-in-China Trump ties are fleecing people for millions. And time's up. And then all hell broke loose. Rampant, evil, grabbing and grasping, vicious, backstabbing. They made life hell on earth with their envy, wonton killing. I don't know what a wonton killing is. I'm gonna have to look that one up. But it sounds interesting, and I don't think I want to be a part of it. Not only do you not understand the word, you are pronouncing it like a dumpling. You got all that wrong and dim sum. I love how on the dictionary page for wanton, it points out its middle school level. This shows grade level based on the words complexity. Too hard. 
I do find this hilarious and frightening because the Bible is open to interpretation. The far right loves to pick and choose to suit their agenda. And here's the Christian Taliban Barbie taking her level of confusion all the way to P.F. Chang's. As a result of these violations, we are asking the court to, among other things, permanently bar Mr. Trump, Donald Trump Jr., Ivanka Trump, Eric Trump, from serving as an officer or director in any corporation or similar, similar entity registered and or licensed in New York. Ooh, another win for Tiffany. The daughter Trump never wanted to date is finally getting one up on Big Sis. Kind of funny. Very funny. Fantastic. Trump's crimes are not victimless. When the well-connected and powerful break the law to get more money than they are entitled to, it reduces resources available to working people, small businesses, and taxpayers. Letitia James is making criminal referrals for Donald Trump, Don Jr., Eric Trump, Ivanka Trump, and the Trump Organization to the IRS Criminal Division and U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. Here's something interesting. So Air Canada, get this, has ordered... 30 electric airplanes. Yeah, electric airplanes. How about that? Electric airplanes. So, I mean, it, it shouldn't surprise you. Look who's the president of, I mean, Justin Trudeau, right? And stupid, right out of the gate, Marjorie. She called him president, couldn't even think of prime minister too hard, and then remarkably remembered his name, like hero Donald Trump, who got halfway there with Justin from Canada, the one Ivanka wants to sleep with so badly, makes me very jealous, very jealous. How is there an electric airplane and what does that look like? So we were, we were just making fun and thinking about, remember back a long time ago and you've seen movies where people in those slave ships and they're down there and they're rowing? And they're being whipped to row. Casually bringing up slave ships to joke with her base. People getting whipped to row. Well, that was in the water. This will be in the air. You know, the thing Herschel Walker, Texas Ranger, wants less of. We're saying, how are they going to keep powering these electric airplanes? What are they going to have? It's like a spin class in a tube. They're called batteries, MTG. And they power a lot of important things in our lives. Only Marjorie Taylor Greene could take something as incredibly forward as an electric plane and equate it to a slave-powered Peloton class from hell. If you're so against them, why don't you find a mobile phone with a gas engine? Have fun making those calls. Where they've got everybody riding spin cycles and then those mean, nasty airline stewardess that force you to wear masks all the time on the planes back when we were forced to wear masks. Are they going to be forcing you to, like, keep spinning to keep the airplane in the air? Like... It's absurd. It is absurd that you're so painfully dumb that you can't wrap your Jason Momoa forehead around innovation that will put flights at low to zero emissions, greatly reduce operational costs, nearly eliminate all noise, significantly cut maintenance, and take one less tube of jet fuel out of the sky. This is a game changer for passengers and the aviation industry for regional flights. But the same person that believes in Jewish space lasers is playing for the windmills cause cancer team, so anything electric is trash. By popular demand, I'm continuing the wild and crazy genuine pages from Lauren Boebert's book. And since we are heavily invested in this section, I'm not grabbing a page at random. I'm continuing from where we left off moments after Lauren Boebert left the McDonald's drive-thru. Let's go. Jason with the Y was passed out in the garage. Not like that time with the Jeep on, though. This was just another nap brought to you by Coors. Fortunately, he was steps from the homemade dance pole, so I gave his slump a kick, and his head got a taste from the roof hole sprinkler above. He woke up swinging his arms and shouting, She said she was 18! Looks like someone was having a crazy dream again. I flopped the bag of Mickey D's on his lap and told him to eat up because he was going to be my getaway driver. While he worked his way through the meal, I shimmied into my old McDonald's costume. What do you think, I asked. He looked me up and down and let me know. I'd rather do it with the France maid or the airplane waitress. But you can dip my nuggets in your honey mustard. He grabbed me and we put our faces together, confirming the spark was still between us. There was no denying this magic. Oh, dang it, Jason screamed. I pulled back and I was not happy. 
I thought he liked me biting his lip, but I guess he'd gone soft on me. Or his cold sore was having one of those days. He rolled to the side and lifted up his pant leg, and there were little bits of electric stuff coming off his ankle monitor. When you made it rain, you messed up my tag. It can't get wet, I asked. He told me, it goes in a bag when I shower. You see, if the water disabled the monitor, the cops would show up. And let's just say, there are a few things in our home the Boberts do not want the donut squad seeing. This was a real problem. Then I remembered when my friend dropped her phone in the toilet after a crazy night out and she put it in a bag of rice and it fixed it. We ripped through red lights and burned serious rubber to the China restaurant on the corner. We stormed in and they were darn surprised. We went straight to the kitchen place, ready for whatever wanton killings we may face. Me and Jason shouted at everyone, rice, rice. They were scared. Probably because Jason was wearing his signed vanilla ice shirt and they just saw the ice part and thought they were going to be on the next boat home. Here, 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 I screamed, rolling out a bin of long grain rices. Jason stomped his leg in it and he dragged it to the door. I opened his wallet and took what he had. I threw all six dollar bills in her face because I knew how to make it rain and reminded her not to call the cops. Ever. My hub's ankle monitor was going to make it and tonight, the buns, we were going to take it. It was like a fairy tale. I hope you've enjoyed this genuine page from Low Rent Booze Burp's latest book. Uh, if you have, please let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll consider reading another page in the near future. Thank you. You look and sound like a groomer. Maggoteers. Maybe if you didn't suck so much, you would be good. Thumbs way down. Maggoteers. Sheep, 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 alert. Maggoteers. Welcome to China America, where your funny, less bald president speaks from his mommy basement. Maggoteers. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those maggoteers. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.